Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea. If you like what you see over here, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe. As I always say, hit the bell. Okay, if you want to be here every time that I am here with the tea team getting into this tea. Okay. Now, um, so the prop that we have for today, um, you know, somebody is wondering what the point of a relationship was. Um, that's the energy that I'm getting. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Somebody is flat out in a position of just wondering, like, what was the point of a particular relationship? You know, where was it going? What was the goal? What was the point? And so um, we're just going to look into that. Somebody is in hindsight. They're saying, you know, why, why, why the hell did I even get involved in that relationship? You know, what was the point? So we're actually going to go ahead and look into that. What was the point? Okay. <clears throat> What were you to learn? Was it something spirit needed you to see? Um, let's just see where we end up, okay? So we see the eight of wands coming out the gate. There was needed communication that needed to happen between you and this person, okay? <clears throat> there were some things that needed to be said, okay? There were some things that needed to be said, Um most importantly, there were some things that you needed to say to this masculine um, knight of wands. There were some things you needed to convey to him. There were some things that he needed to hear coming from you. And there was a certain amount of justice in that. You got your opportunity to maybe say some things that you had been needing to say. Um, get some things off your chest. Get him to understand some things he didn't understand. Um, you know, I'm getting that vibe of sometimes... There may have just been some things that hurt us that we needed to communicate to someone for your own healing, um, for your own release, okay? And there were some things that needed to be said, and this balanced the scales, even energetically. <coughs> this shifted things between you and this masculine. Um, you may not know this, okay, but these things really touched this man emotionally. King of Cups, he really felt this from you. He really was able to receive from you what you said did give him a different picture of you emotionally. Y'all know I'm taking these cough breaks now. I still got this little cold. It's hanging on, but that's all right. Um, yeah, so this man had some feelings with you emotionally that kind of got balanced and kind of got revealed to him. Because you did get a chance to communicate certain things to him, okay? And then you communicating these things to him, okay? Fool card energy. And you communicating these things to him, what you don't know, what you don't realize. Because I'm really getting, this is shielded, the energy coming from this king of cups and this fool. You don't know this, okay? But when you did tell this man these things on your heart that you needed him to hear, that you wanted him to hear... This man, it kind of sent him into a tailspin um, <clears throat> emotionally. And you may have left him very depressed, okay? It kind of took him into a deep dive emotionally. And it left him depressed, um, some of the things that you communicated to him. And as a man, this man feels like he owes you something. This man is Ace of Wise Energy. I'm seeing a man that his masculinity, his virility was really, his manhood was really affected by what you told him. Um, he wants to rise up as a man in some way, shape, or form based on what you communicated to him. Okay, we got the Ace of Wands right on top of the Eight of Wands. Based on what you communicated to him, this man is feeling like, I need to rise up. I need to, you, 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 this man was left feeling ashamed by something that you told him. He's feeling like I haven't been no kind of man. I haven't been no kind of man. Okay. Look at divine mother coming right behind it. That's the truth. You gave this man some clarity on him as a man, as it relates to women. He got a chance to look at himself as it relates to how he's treated women. And he was not happy with himself. Okay. He was not happy with himself. Um, and this man was left with shame. This man was left with grief.
okay? Listen, initially this man wanted to fight the balance that you created in him and in the situation and the relationship between y'all. Prior to whatever you told him, <clears throat> this relationship was very imbalanced. <clears throat> it was one where <clears throat> he was doing the things that he wanted to do. And you were expected to accept that. That was that was the relationship up until the point that you communicated to him something that let him know as a man, you, it's a shame. It's a shame the way you've behaved. Um, the feminine in this, she may have been holding a heavy weight on her chest of something that happened or just something she never communicated to him about their past relationship. Okay? And this man was initially fighting what you were saying. He didn't want to hear that. Okay? Um, <clears throat> he didn't want to hear it. But this man now has had to look into his emotions and really think deeply about it and really think forward. Like, you know, wait a minute. Is this who I am when it comes to relationships? Is this how I'm treating people? Is this really what's going on? This man did reflect on it. Okay? Two of Wands. Four of Wands. A lot of Wands energy here. This man, this is a very fiery man. Okay? And the energy that I get is that he doesn't really even think that hard about how he's, he leaves people feeling. How he's left you feeling. He may have been blind to whatever agony or pain or disturbance you communicated to him. This is like, wait, I made you feel like that, you know? And with that being said, this man is really looking at who he is in relationships, okay? And that he's been a fool in relationships. We see this fool right underneath the four of wands energy. He's really realizing that he hasn't been half the man that he thought he was, okay? In terms of women. He's reflecting six of cups energy. He's looking back. He's looking back on relationships. He's looking back on y'all's relationship. He's finding himself in a nine of swords energy. He's depressed. Okay? The clarity of who he's really been and how he's really treated you has left this man in a nine of swords. He's depressed. Okay? He's like, wait a minute. Is, is, this, is this really me? Okay? And he wishes he could change things, believe it or not. The magician. He wishes he could flip this. He wishes he could flip the script. He's wishing that he could flip the script. Okay, five of swords energy. He's wishing that he could flip the script. Um, he realizes now that he has betrayed you. Okay, in the past. He's betrayed you. Um, he's been cold. He's been cruel. He's been callous. He's been difficult. Um... And your words, your Adam Wise energy communicated this to him, okay? We're going to read what fell. Communicated this to him. This man has breadcrumbed you previously, okay? As a boyfriend and as a provider, okay? Knight of Cups and Knight of Pentacles, okay? He breadcrumbed. He gave little. He gave less than he had to a woman that he knew deserved more. Please keep understand that. This man knew you deserved more. He knew it. He knew you deserved more. Okay? Judgment. Okay? Y'all know I say these church bells ring. That's what you did for him. I say church bells ring when the judgment card appears. That's what you did for him. Is you turned the lights on. You awakened him with your words. You woke him up and he's like, he, it, it was a, you know, it wasn't something that was nice for him. Um, you may not be aware, but you had, you had a hell of a effect on this man when you said what you said and what you said, it, it was not nice for him. Um, it, it kind of brought, it brought up a lot of dirt and a lot of filth within him. You know, in this judgment card, we know that the dead arise. You brought up a lot of old wounds in him. This man is remembering that a lot of the things he did to you were done to him. So whoever hurt him, he's having to now remember that person. Okay. And think about how he was treated and that he's now treating you. He's taking it out on you. Okay. 
things in his life have come full circle. What did I just say? The world card. You know, he's seeing the cycle now. Okay? He's seeing the cycle. It comes out of his family. He comes from a dysfunctional family. Ten of Cups. Okay? He's really looking at that and seeing it. This comes out of his household. It comes out of his household. Okay? This demonic energy. One of his parents may have been kind of a demonic, narcissistic presence. Somebody that was very decadent. Somebody that was very careless. Somebody that kind of stumped on everyone's feelings. Made everyone feel enslaved. Made everyone feel that they were under his control or her, her control. Okay, everybody had to walk on eggshells. Everybody had to make sure they didn't make this person feel that they were no longer enslaved to their control and their power. Okay, um, you know, there was no real temperance. There was no real balance. Okay, and that's something that this man got away from, Six of Swords energy. This man moved away from those energies because he was brought up without them. Okay, we see in a lot of this childhood wounds coming up on the board this week. This man um, with these masculines, this man <clears throat> felt that he's reflecting and he's realizing that, you know, he moved, he moved away from finding any temperance, finding any balance, any patience in his own romantic relationships. Okay. He moved away from it. Okay. He watched you walk away. Um, Eight of Cups energy. He watched you walk away. Because he was being controlling the emperor energy. You were not cool with that. Look at this emperor coming in right next to this devil. This man was acting just like his father. Okay. That was the parent that was clowning. And this man was in his father's energy. Okay. This man was in his father's uh, sickness. This man was repeating the habits of his father. Okay. Towards you. And you walked out the door. Okay. His own mother may have walked out the door as well. Okay, and this man is having to think about this two of cups. Okay, how his father's control of ways affected his own marriage and his own parents. Okay, we keep seeing this coming up on the board. This is what this man saw as he came along. Okay, he saw it. He saw the womanizing. He saw the flirting. He saw the, the abuse. He saw the, the, the enslavement, the control and this remnants of this. That he was bringing to you, okay? We're seeing this man as he's going back down his own. Like, how did I get to be the type of person that's got this woman saying to me some of the same shit my mama was saying to my daddy? You know, King of Wands energy. He's asking himself, how did I get here? How did I get to be, you know, I'm out here and I'm out here bad. You know, I'm sexually, I'm, I'm, I'm putting that before my family. I'm putting that before my lady. I'm putting it before I'm my dad now. Okay, we see the emperor, we see the king of wands. This man is now looking at it. Two of cups, three of cups. You know, his marriage, his parents' marriage, I mean here, and how it affected him. Okay? And this man is realizing, he's hearing you cry out to him and say the same things that his own dad said, his own mom said. Okay? Five of wands. There's fighting. There was fighting that started at the end of this relationship, okay? Spirit is something else because the spirit will show give us the story. Thank you, spirit, so much for the clarity. Four of cups, okay? Four of cups. There was a lot of fighting and you were sick of it. You were sick of accepting it. The chaos, the arguing. You had had it. You had had it. Okay? And even though the love, page of cups, the love was still there, hangman. The love was still there. You still felt like there were a lot of ideas left for how y'all could save the relationship. You still thought there were a lot of ways that you could keep his energy in your life. You still were hoping that there was still time left to find some type of a conclusion. Okay? You still had your hope, but you still know what you deserve, Queen of Pentacles. And you know you deserved, okay, to be treated in a way that was a lot more grounded and a lot more sensible. Than what this man was able to provide at the time. Okay, because this man is still searching for himself, quiet as it's kept, the hermit energy. This man has now found himself, and this is a grown man, okay, and he's still searching for him. Okay, he's searching for him through relationships, lovers, through money, ace of pentacles. You know, this man, this man, let me tell you something. <clears throat> this man. 
it's occurred to him before to unalive himself. See, because he's lonely and the way he's dealing with it is he's going through lots and lots of lovers and he's going through lots and lots of money. Okay. And nothing's fixing it. You know, he's thinking that if I spend more money, if I work harder, you know, he's a workaholic now. He's working and working and working. Eight of Pentacles energy. He's thinking if I just keep working, if I get more and more women, if I spend more and more money, you know, he, he's tormented. Okay. He's tormented. So to the point that as of late, as of recent in his in this man's life towards the end of y'all's relationship, you witnessed something in him or his life took a drastic shift. It took a drastic change. Will of fortune. Okay. It was at a time where this man really thought that, you know, he had, he had reached some type of pinnacle of his own ego. He was really in a vain space, you know, prideful. Okay. We know pride comes before, before a fall a lot of times. Yeah, this man was existing in pride, okay? Sun and hierophant energy. He's in a very prideful space. He's in a very prideful space. He felt like he was kind of above, he was above reproach. He was above correction, okay? Um, and there you are, okay? We see this queen of wands energy with this six of wands. This man felt like he was about to uh, dominate you. This man felt like he had made it. He was spending money. He was having women how he wanted them for the moment, okay? He was working hard. The money was coming in. He's feeling himself. And he's like, yeah, animal, grab her. You know, it's nothing. I'm going to have her. He's very sure that things were about to go the way he wanted them to go. Um, and there's something that was going on in secret. We see the high priestess here. She has something, um, and we're speaking on the spiritual plane, beyond the veil. The high priestess had something. There was spiritually something that was being kind of hidden for, from this man or for this man that just had not hit his life just yet. Okay. Knight of Swords, okay. Um, something came through for this man like a hurricane, okay, and it shifted. It shifted things for him. Um, it shifted everything around him. We see the three of pentacles. So his daily, everyday teamwork and community was shifted. Okay. And in that shift, this man suddenly was no longer emotionally available. When things shifted, this man grew cold. He went very much in his head. He's keeping a lot in his head. Seven of Cups. He's thinking a lot of thoughts and he's not saying them. He's not communicating them. Okay. Emotionally, his emotions are running over. He's not saying a lot of this stuff, y'all. He's keep, He was keeping it inside. Okay. He's pretending to be strong. King of Pentacles energy. He's pretending to be strong. He was pretending to still have money. But there was a burden that was placed upon him. <clears throat> okay, there was a burden that was placed upon him. It, things for him, his money got funny, everything. He's still trying to kind of play the role. Like everything's fine. We see the star card energy. He's still trying to pretend he's got the resources. He's still trying to pretend he's hopeful. Okay, but whoever this man was... Just before y'all y'all break up, something went wrong for him, okay? And this man was in a bad space. By the time you left, it may have had something to do. Um, we see the nine of wands and we see death. That makes me think that his health, yeah, he may have had an underlying health issue. We see the seven of swords right behind this. This man may have had an underlying health issue, okay, four of swords. And something that left him on rest for some time. Four source energy with the five of pentacles. And as a result of this, this man is going to go into financial ruin. Four swords, five of pentacles. This man is going to really take a L financially. Yeah, something just blew up his finances, okay? All of this happens at a time that you walk out, you walked away, okay? This man is receiving the message, um... This page of wands come through this, comes through this man's life, okay? Seven of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles, okay? And the Chariot. Baby, something rolled through this man's life and shifted the shit out of it. I'm just trying to get to y'all what happened, okay? This man runs into a serious shift, 
in his life. Four of Pentacles and a Chariot. So, this man in this relationship, as y'all was going along and y'all was kind of going through different things and you've communicated to him what you were feeling and all this different stuff that was going on, this man kind of starts to reflect on who he is and what he's been and who he's been. And we kind of see him gradually going into a tailspin, okay, from that point. One of those tailspin moments being you moving on from him, okay? You realizing that you have to kind of defend yourself from this space that he's going into, this depression and the sadness that he's going into because the man was making a lot of bad decisions. He was out here living in the old kind of way. He was living a life that, okay, was focused on, you know, fulfillment. And it kind of came at the price of his mental health, okay? So we see the Queen of Cups here and the Eight of Swords. You took your affections away. You recognized at what point this man was no longer somebody that you should tie yourself to, that you should... Hit your wagon too. You realize that he was no longer somebody that you should feel comfortable keeping yourself in connection with. Okay? If you're asking yourself what you should have learned from the relationship. Remember, that's what we went into this with. You know, you recognize that this man was headed for, he was headed down a dark space. You recognize that. Okay? Two of Pentacles energy. This man was in uncertainty. This man was depressed. He was private, private, privately and quietly considering unaliving himself. Okay, he was miserable. He was overspending. He was having too much sex. He was overworking. He was going, 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 going to try to get over all of these issues. He was having childhood traumas. And then we saw that high priestess energy come in beyond the veil and shook his ass up. Okay, and this man, took he took a hit. He took a hit. Okay, two of pentacles, three of swords, ten of swords. This man took a hit. And it left him flat on his ass. Um, you told him this day was coming. Okay? Part of what you communicated to him was this. You said, you know, you, you fucking up. Okay? And, and the way you're living and the way you treated me. Okay? And this man has found himself in that moment. That, that future moment that you mentioned to him arrived. Okay? That future moment that you spoke to him arrived, okay? We see the Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. And this is a situation where he's taking a real hit. And it's actually going to leave his family kind of mourning some of the different things that he's going through. He's going to really hit the wall hard, okay? And you're going to be left unscathed. Um, and you are unscathed because of your wisdom. And that's really what you needed to get from this. You were left unscathed because you used your wisdom. You were able to see that this man was not headed in the right direction. And you knew that it was time to kind of, you know, get out the way. Um, okay, and, that, and that's basically the bottom line as far as what were you supposed to get out of this? What was it all for? To kind of be able to look back and see that you were able to navigate this you were able to look at this man and say you know communicate to him clearly this is who you are this is what i'm not gonna do this is where you're headed um and you kind of acted as kind of one of the last barriers to pull out from under this man okay um you know to pull out from under this man where he had to kind of face his reckoning for how he's treated people how he's done people how he's hurt people Okay. You were one of the last people to um, kind of give him those words, um, kind of letting him know, you know, what you did to me, how you treated me. It was everything but acceptable. Okay. Um, and what is the exact future hold for this man? Okay. As you have moved out the way, you see that he is kind of in a crisis. He's in a, he's not in a great space. Um, okay. And we see, once again, we see things coming full circle. Um, okay. Coming full circle for you. This man is going to try to reach out to you again. Okay. There it is. Okay. It's a, y'all know, I, I don't, I don't look, my, my car has got to be laid so fine. You understand me? <clears throat> okay. The king of swords. This man does reach for you once again. Um, as things come full circle for him. 
And the reason for that is because you remain at the center of his thoughts as he's going through what he's going through. Um, and also because you refused him. Okay, because you were willing to say how you're living is fucking disgusting. Or you were willing to say how you've treated me in the past is something that I'm just not going to stand still for. Look at that. Eight of, cups, eight of Wands energy comes through again. Four of Cups with the Eight of Wands. You let him know what you were not going to accept. And you were very firm. That did give you and leave you in goddess energy in this man's mind and eyes. You are a goddess, okay? You were somebody that was like, I, you know, I, I don't know what's causing it or what's going on, but I bet you I'm not going to deal with it, okay? Four of Swords. Um, you know what? In this Four of Swords energy, this is where this man is and has been as he's going through whatever hardship that he's having to go through and face um, with his health, with his life, with his finances. It's giving him time to contemplate from his perspective, what happened between y'all, okay? And this man will return to you with a message for you, okay? That man will return with a message for you um, and that message for you being, okay? We see this page of swords and this seven of swords. Um, this man is going to come through. He is kind of coming back to defend his name because I keep hearing rumors, rumors, rumors. It's like this man feels like you're not seeing him for real or you you believed a rumor or something about him that he's like, no, that's that's not who I am. He's going to want to know who told you that. OK, he feels like you got a couple of misconceptions about who he is. Something you said or heard he feels is untrue and it's something that he holds near and dear to his heart. And he wants to know how do you know that and, and where is that coming from? OK, this man is going to come back to you chasing passion and also chasing mental clarity. Chasing some truth. He's also coming back to you. Uh, still in a position where. Still in a position where. You know. He's coming to you. He's chasing. He's chasing you. He's chasing the streets. Um, and, and by chasing the streets. To clarify the energy I'm getting. This man is coming back out. And chasing the outside world. Um, whatever happened to him, he feels like he better get to it and get it right this time. You know, he, he was scared about whatever occurred. He's coming back chasing, chasing the outside world saying, you know what? I, I gotta, I gotta get real. I gotta make, I gotta make this world mine. Okay. He is going to make you another offering because this man feels like the last offering he made you left you in tears. He's going to try to fix that. He's embarrassed and he's ashamed of the way he left things. Because he does still love you. Page of Cups energy. He does still love you, okay? In spite of the fighting, in spite of whatever may have occurred. This man is going to come back with a message to you that offers you two choices. As far as him and his life goes, Okay? This man is coming back with an offering. Okay. This man is coming back with an offering. He's being very passionate. He's coming back with very much boyfriend energy. You know, it's like, a, hey, do you want to date me again? Okay, that's an offering. I'm coming to you. Here's something that I can offer you that could give you some type of rest and some type of sense of apology. And I'd like to know if you want to date me again. We see this Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands energy. Okay, here's some stability. Would you like to give me an opportunity to be the passion in your life again? Okay. And then there's this. Okay, there's Four of Wands energy. Okay. Or would you like to marry me? Okay, this man is going to offer you. This man is going to offer you a chance to take it slow and get to know each other better or get to know each other more. And if you don't want that offer, he's going to say, just marry me, just marry me. And that's all he's going to be interested in hearing. He's not going to be interested in anything else. He's going to block out anything else. This man will not try to 
be your friend or anything. He doesn't want to hear that. This man is going to come back and he's going to say, look, we can date and see if we can, we can get closer that way. Or fuck it, you could just come with me. And that's all he's going to be interested in hearing. Okay? If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Okay? Ring the bell. Okay? If you will. And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.